651, our top stories in our Smart Start for Wednesday. The breaking story from Baltimore, Maryland. At least five mm. victims there, including four students at Morgan State, shot on the university campus. They are between the ages of 18 and 22. All are expected to survive. Police do say that all of these victims, they believe, were shot around the same time, which is what led officers to proceed, believing there was an active shooter. They were able to secure several buildings, but never found a suspect. Classes at the university have been canceled for today. And a new day begins on Capitol Hill with a big question hanging over it. Who is going to be the next Speaker of the House? Representative Kevin McCarthy said last night he won't seek the position again after House members voted to remove him. This historic vote came after a revolt by far-right members of the Republican Party. Representative Patrick McHenry of North Carolina has been named the Speaker pro tempore. New this morning, a building here in Rochester left damaged after a car smashed into it. And there's new video of that corner store. That was at Ravine and Lake Avenues around 2.30 this morning. When officers arrived, the vehicle was ditched. There's still a lot of damage there to the front. No suspects in custody and no injuries reported. New information about the man accused of kidnapping a nine-year-old girl from a state park in Saratoga County. Hayden Wentworth is here in the studio with the latest on this man who's in jail right now, charged in connection to the case. Hayden. Brennan, Michaela, 47-year-old Craig Ross Jr. is in jail facing a felony kidnapping charge and more charges are expected. State police tell us the girl was found after Ross dropped a ransom note at her family's home around 4 Monday morning. They add his fingerprints on the note are what led them to her. Authorities say his prints were a match in the system as he was previously arrested for a DWI in 1999. The girl was found inside a camper on the suspect's mother's property and she was inside a cupboard unharmed. The search lasted two days with hundreds of community members getting involved. When news got out she was found, celebrations followed. Everybody was doing what they could, you know, they wanted to help as much as they could. Some of the people here were qualified to be um, res search and rescue workers, and, and so those people went and helped out, and everybody else wanted to help, but didn't know how. You know, they didn't want to get in the way, but yeah, it was to see the police and investigators coming from all over the state, it was phenomenal. The girl's family has come out saying they are thankful she's home, but they understand this isn't always the case for families with missing children. Investigators are still working to find a motive in all of this. Back to you. All right, thank you so much, Hayden. A man has life-threatening injuries now after being shot in his car in Rochester. This all happened around 6 last night near Shelter and Schwartz Streets. That victim, who is in his 40s, is currently in critical condition. We're waiting to hear an update on how he's doing. Police also ask anyone with any information, any leads here, please call 911. Sunrise traffic at 654. Expressways have been good to go. If you're about to hop on 394, 90, 590, headed into or out of downtown, everything at speed. Take it easy out there. We'll check your morning drive again at about 725 during CBS mornings. It is wheels up. Go time for Bills Mafia making their way across the pond as Buffalo has a matchup against Jacksonville in London this weekend. And travel groups for the region have had their trips booked for months. AAA of Western and Central New York is hosting a little more than 50 fans for a nearly week-long vacation. Travelers are spending about four grand per person on the trip, and the excitement is running high ahead of Sunday. The atmosphere will be amazing, um, but it's also great to bring, you know, community members to another country and another city. So we'll, you know, do some tours and we'll get to really see the sights. So it's, you know, really a win-win. We get to, uh, you know, see a Bills game, but also experience another city together. I think first being with, you know, a, there's 54 people. So, you know, 54 people that have all one common interest, you know, and excitement surrounding the Bills. So I'm really excited about that. I think everybody on that trip is going to be making some new friends. Now, a quick note for anybody who would fancy a pint here with their game at home, as Governor Hochul has announced she's directing the State Liquor Authority to extend its deadline for special permits so that bars and restaurants can serve as early as 8 in the morning on Sunday. Really got to compensate for that time difference. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but we're also going to be feeling like London here with yes. all the rain. It's very on brand. It is on brand. You know what? <laughs> you know, we got to be able to relate to how Josh 
child and his family. Exactly. So we, we got to immerse all ourselves in the experience. I get it. Even if we can't make that four grand trip over, we're still going to feel like it Friday into Saturday and Sunday. We're going to be seeing a lot of rain begin to work its way through the area. Plenty of wind with all this, too. We're really starting to feel more like fall here in western New York. Rain, wind, and cooler temperatures. That's going to be the highlight of this weekend. We are going to have to enjoy at least Wednesday and Thursday. Still back into the 80s. Very comfortable there. So we'll take it as we can get it. We certainly will. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning on News 8 Sunrise, everyone. Yeah, we'll see you back here in half an hour. CBS Mornings coming your way next. Rochesterfirst.com, Facebook, Twitter, and on our app for news and weather.